Hi guys, are you tired of slow internet speed and unreliable connection? Now with the outdoor fiber internet extension, you can now extend your high speed internet from point A to point B, providing you with lightning fast speed and reliable connectivity. So you can say goodbye to buffering, lagging, and drop connection, and say hello to the seamless online experience with the outdoor fiber internet extension. And if you have any question with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link in the description box below, and we'll be more than happy to solve your problem for you. So today we are going to connect multiple PoE enabled devices using the fiber optic cable. So in a typical PoE connection, we use a pure copper cable to transmit both power and data. So you may not be familiar with the fiber optic cable, but actually there are many advantages of using it. The fiber optic cable is made out of glass, so it can transfer much higher speed than the copper cable. It uses lights to transmit the data and travel much faster than electrical signal. And also, it has longer distance without the loss of signal quality, which can be up to 80 kilometers. And fiber optic cable can carry more data at the same time with greater bandwidth. It is ideal for high bandwidth applications like the video streaming or online gaming. And without saying, let's move on to the demonstration board and see how the setup goes. So here we are in front of the board and today we are going to connect the PoE enabled device here at the edge using the 300 meter fiber optic cable. And let's take a look what else. This is what we need to add in between. This is an outdoor media converter. And you may wonder why do we have to add this? The media converter here is to convert the fiber optical signal into electrical signal. Since our PoE enabled devices here are using the electrical signal to transmit data. However, the fiber optic cable here is using the fiber optical signal, so they can't talk to each other. That's why we need to add this media converter. For example, I'm a Chinese, right? If I want to talk with an Italian, obviously we don't understand each other. Unless I put an it's, it's a translator in between, and then we can understand and talk with each other. And this media converter here will work in between and convert the fiber optical signal with the electrical signal so they can talk to each other and transmit the data. And let's take a closer look here. It has two ports. This is the port where we connect with the ethernet cable to transmit electrical signal. And this is the SFP slot where we connect with the fiber optic cable. Speaking of SFP slot, we also will need this small thing. This is an SFP transceiver. And this is where you connect it with the fiber optic cable. And usually this is so separately because you have to determine what kind of fiber optic cable you use and what kind of connector that you use. We have single mode and multi mode. So this is separately and you can put it into your SFP slot to connect with the fiber optic cable. And you can see here, we also have an indoor version media converter here because the media converter work in a pairs. And without saying, now let's do the connection together. Let's do the connection from the beginning. This is the router to provide the main network. I'm going to connect it with the NVR and images will show up later on after we connect with the camera because it's already connected to the, net, the monitor. And now I'm going to use a short patch cord here to connect our router with the media converter. Now this is the indoor media converter. And now I'm going to plug in the ethernet cable here so it can convert the electrical signal into a fiber optic signal. And it requires power supply set, so let's plug in the power. And this is the SFP transceiver that we're using. 
This fiber optic cable is already pre-baited and is 100% tested in the factory. This is a two string fiber optic cable. I'm going to use string A. So let's plug it in to the SFP transceiver and connect with the media converter over here and everything is already plugged in this is a 300 meter fiber optic cable and this is the outdoor version media converter and i'm going to plug in the power source so you can see the indicated lights is on it's getting power already and now this is the sfp transceiver I'm going to connect with the fiber optic cable. Remember, we used string A, right? So let's plug it in here and then plug it into, let's see. It's okay because I can't really see from this angle. All right, it's plugged in and you can see the indicated light is on. It's getting connection. And this is the outdoor power supply set. And those two are completely IP67 waterproof so it can work under harsh environment. Let's try the wireless access point first. We are going to connect the wireless access point here using Ethernet cable. This is can be powered by the PoE. So I'm going to connect with the media converter here. And you can see the indicated lights are both on. The wireless access point here is getting power on with the media converter because it can provide PoE. Now let's try the camera. I'm going to unplug the wireless access point using and other short patch cord to connect with the PDZ camera to see if it works. All right, it's getting power. We know the indicated lights are on. Just give it a few seconds to run and you can see this is a live video and everything is on with the 300 meter fiber optic cable. So the whole setup is done. Here are a few more tips for you. This is the outdoor version media converter. So it can work under a harsh environment. The working temperature range is from minus 40 degrees up to 75 degrees. Also provide what, up to one gigabit per second data transfer rate. As you can see, it has a separate power supply unit because it can support the PoE and it has wide input voltage range from 24 volts to 56 volts DC power and support up to 30 watts of power output maximum. And second, make sure you choose the right fiber optic cable for your application. Fiber optic cable can provide fast speed, low latency and a long distance up to 80 kilometers. And it also comes with variety types of fiber optic cable and different connector. It has multi-mode and also SC, ST and FC connector and etc. So make sure you choose the right one depending on your distance and the bandwidth that required. And if you want to install multiple devices using the fiber optic cable, you can watch the video right here. And thank you so much for watching us today and I will see you next time.